Okay, so here's our eggs. They're all cracked, 12 eggs. <coughs> Excuse me. An onion, a bell pepper. Again, you can add, take away anything you like just to make it fun. And then this is our season that we just kind of keep on hand and it's always a different mix of things. So I would just say a good douse of black pepper and salt and you're good to go. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is take a little bit of olive oil, just a smidge. I'm gonna put my half pound of turkey sausage in here. You can use any kind of sausage that you like. And I'm just doing half a pound just to give it a little bit of chunk so I feel like I'm having a splurge in the morning. And I'm gonna brown that up and then I'll add my eggs to it. I love this little chopper thing to break your meat up. And so I'll brown this up and then I'm gonna add my egg mixture right into the same skillet. So my turkey sausage is all browned up. Looks great. I'm going to leave all that yumminess in the pan and I'm just going to pour my veggies and eggs straight into it. They've already been seasoned and then I'll taste again at the end. And then all I do is kind of take a large spatula and just scrape the pan as they cook. And you can adjust your heat so that they don't cook too quickly and scorch on the bottom. And I just kind of move it all around, all this love, to get them good and gooey cooked. Again, you can add cheese if you want, but I'm trying to keep it healthy. I'd rather not add it to this, and then if I decide in the morning to add a little bit of cheese, then I'll do it that way. This gives me some options. Okay, we'll let this cook up. All right, so this is my egg mixture with sausage, turkey sausage, onion, bell pepper. It's all ready to go. So it's a great way to feed a crowd if you're gonna use it immediately. But what we do, my amazing husband and I like to do, is we make some variety of egg every week to try to help us just make healthy choices. And so we will keep this in a container. And then some morning I will eat this by itself. And I'll show you kind of as we go through the week. And then some mornings I might make it into a breakfast burrito. Sometimes I'll make the whole batch into burritos and put them in the freezer so that we always have burritos on hand. It's great for when we go camping. And then that way I know what's in it and it's good for us. And we're off to start the day with some healthy choices. So I hope you like this and I hope you try it for your family. God bless you guys and have a great day. So this is the finished product right here. Two ways. We do this a lot. We keep it in a little storage container and then we can decide that day how we want to eat them. And so this is the eggs mommy, mommy, mommy. by themselves. Hi, baby. And then we also like to do a breakfast burrito. And then we can decide if we want cheese, sour cream, avocado. Um, again, sometimes I'll use the whole batch and make a batch of burritos. Um, it just depends. Since I'm at home and I can kind of go with the flow through the day, I like to just decide that morning what I want to have. So when we go camping, it's nice to have these on hand too, already made. Of course, we love when Daddy makes us eggs and bacon at the campsite because it's one of our favorites. Uh, but it's nice to have these on hand all the time. So this is just one version of eggs. And then I'll have Tony show you another way that we make eggs for the week too.